Hey folks, thanks for joining me in another video. Today I'm going to be taking a look at something that came in the mail today. Um, just a little surprise from a, from a YouTube friend, a member who goes by the name Wait My Turn. And I'll just go ahead and jump right in and open this up. Uh, Wait My Turn, her name is Laura. She actually got in touch with me uh, a few days ago and told me that she'd like to send something in the mail, if that would be okay. And... Uh, I was pretty excited. We've talked several times on YouTube uh, about various knife and EDC stuff, and I thought that sounded pretty cool. It sounded really generous to her. So, uh, oh, cool! I can see some, I see some goodies already. Um, she did have something she wanted me to open off camera, so I'll put that off to the side and uh, show you the rest of this. Oh, wow! Okay, I'll show you the rest of this stuff here. Got a little note included, which I will read. It says. Abe, the items I sent include Boker Plus Toucan with neck chain, Zebra telescopic pen, and a pocket clip for your bullet space pen, and a bandana. The bandana is brand new, never used. I got it as a freebie when I ordered a wallet. Enjoy, Laura. Well, thank you very much, Laura. Let's go ahead and jump into all this stuff together and uh, take a look. Actually, the bandana's already out. Why don't we get a look at that first? I do like bandanas. I have a lot of them, and I use them a lot at work. Move that fella off camera. It's the Spyderco Endura 4, for anyone that was wondering. And that is from Carhartt. Hard at work since 1889. This is pretty cool. It's got sort of that diamond plating pattern that you'll see on, like, truck beds and some toolboxes and that type of thing. And then it's got the Carhartt logo in the corners, and then a bunch of hammers and wrenches and screwdrivers all along the border. That's pretty cool. This is, it's a, it seems large. Maybe it's not any bigger than my other bandanas, but it seems like it's a great big, big size. That's really cool. Thanks very much for that. This is definitely gonna get used pretty much right away. I'll carry this with me uh, to work. I'll kind of put it into my bandana rotation. So thank you very much for that bandana. Let's have a look in here. I'll bet that the, yeah, there it is. I'll bet that the little bullet space pen clip. I don't know if Laura if you'd already been using that on your own space pen or if you if you thought of that when you saw one of my videos talking about it because the space pen as it comes the standard bullet space pen does not come with a pocket clip and so it is it easily will roll away off the table or what have you and so I guess it just kinda looks like it just slides on and then now you can clip this onto your shirt, onto your pants, your bag, your purse whatever you have and then of course the the wonderful bonus there is that the pen's not going to go anywhere it's not going to roll away so that's awesome and it's just a simple basic little folded steel clip and just slips right on and there you have it so that'll definitely get used I like the the non-rolling feature that that's kinda got built into it so that's a cool little cool little attachment for your Fisher Space Pen. I do believe this is sold. I think you can buy a Space Pen that includes it, but then it's also sold separately on its own. And I can't imagine that they cost too much, but I don't know how much they are for anyone that's wondering. But I'll bet if you go on uh, eBay or Amazon or something like that and look it up, you can find it right away. So that is the pocket clip that she mentioned. And then she said, uh, Boker Toucan. I've seen these before. I've always kind of been curious about it. I've never actually held one in person before. This will be the first time I've actually ever seen one up close. And this is uh, one of those neck or pocket or keychain pry tools. And this one's sort of a multi-tool that are becoming so popular. A lot of you folks know that I like to carry some sort of little small pry tool or a scraping tool on my keys. This one comes with a Kydex sheath. You can see it's kind of got the tool itself molded into it. The shape of it anyway. Let's pull it out of there. And there is the, it does have a knife edge on it. Now I only, I actually really like this and it's really just, I immediately wanted to grab it right where it has the little finger grooves, which is, uh, which is pretty cool. You, your fingers just go right into those little grooves. And it's, it does seem quite comfortable for how small that blade is. Uh, my only uh, reservation with this type of tool, and, we'll, and, and I will carry it and I'll see how it works out. I am interested in knowing. I typically don't, like the idea of one of these little pry tools having a blade on it because it's just one more thing that you have to kind of be aware of and it's also one more thing that you've got to you know protect your hand from so in this case if you want to use the pry tool you either need to have it inside the kydex sheath here 
Or I guess you could take it out of the sheath, still getting used to how it pops out there. You could take it out of the sheath and just kind of keep your fingers away from the edge, but it's a little bit finicky. I would be a little bit worried, so it's probably best if you're going to do any prying or scraping to uh, go ahead and keep the knife or tool sheathed before you before you attempt any serious prying so that you don't get your hands on the cutting edge. But uh, I will carry that around and try that out. I'm interested to see how that works out. Also, obviously, you can see it's got a, a bottle opener, cap lifter there, and I imagine that the ends of this tool can also be used as flathead screwdrivers. So well, that's very, very cool. And thank you again. Thank you very much for that. That's going to be a fun little item to try out. I'll carry that around see how it works out. It also has a little lanyard loop or necklace loop there. And she did include, I imagine this comes with it, this little uh, metal bead chain. You can clip onto it to wear it around your neck or what have you. So we'll try that out and see how that goes. And then finally, Laura included a Zebra telescopic pen. And I am entirely unfamiliar with this type of pen. It does look really cool. Not really sure. I guess you just, you just pull that out. Hey, that's pretty cool. And there it goes. Oh, and then that's slick. Okay, so a bunch of you probably already know how this works, but to me that's fairly fascinating. Uh, when it's closed, the pen, the ballpoint, or nib, or whatever you want to call that, is not exposed. And then when you extend it, it comes, It's it's. I guess it doesn't come out, but it is revealed. That little sheath that covers it pulls away to expose that ballpoint. And uh, now you have a full-size pen. So uh, kind of a similar concept, anyway, to the space pen, where the space pen, you know, collapses into a very small piece, but is designed so that when you push the two ends together, you have a full-size pen. You can see that those are really extremely comparable in length. And this one just goes about it a different way. Instead of being two separate pieces, the uh, Zebra just collapses and becomes a shortened pen. Let's see, those are also, if those aren't identical, they're extraordinarily close. So that's really cool. Wow. Uh, thank you again. Uh, the, her YouTube name again, it, uh, again is Wait My Turn. And her name is Laura. And uh, I don't know what to say. Just thank you so much for these really cool gifts. This was very unexpected. These are some really nice items. Uh, I guess these, she was trying to carry these in her own EDC and some of them just weren't working out for her. And she decided rather than... I don't know, selling them or trade them, she'd pass them along, and I, I have to say I'm, I'm very appreciative. I'm going to try these all out and see how they work out for me. So let me put these all back out there again. That was the Zebra Telescopic Pen, the pocket clip for the Fisher Space Pen Bullet, the Boker 2-Can Pry Tool or One-Piece Multi-Tool, and then that really great Carhartt Bandana. Some great goodies from a very generous and very nice friend here on YouTube. Uh, Laura, wait my turn. Thank you again so much. Thank you to everyone who's watching, and I will talk to you all soon. Bye.